What's good everyone? My name is Enro Mendoza and welcome to my first video. Now, for those of you who really know me, you guys know that I've been planning to do this for months already. And I think I think it's even been a year. And I guess, you know, growing up, social media has been a big part of my life. Starting with Facebook, and then Twitter, Instagram. Now, Instagram stories is where I usually live. You guys know this. I post every day or almost every day at least. And it got me thinking, you know, I always consume and share all these memes, funny jokes, everything for entertainment. And I just wanted to share, I guess, more meaningful, valuable content. I also like to consume motivational things, motivational speeches, nuggets of wisdom. And I wanted to share that with you guys. There's actually um, this conference that I attended a few months ago. I sat there ready to take notes. The guy says, stop consuming, start creating. And I guess that was a turning point for me. I do realize that I'm on my phone a lot. You know, waking up in the morning was the first thing I look at on you know, my phone. Turn off my alarm, sometimes even snooze it. And what do I do? I look at news, I message my friends, I share memes, I post an IG story, you know, stuff like that. And I guess I just wanted to share more valuable things. And the video was one of the mediums that, believe it or not, I'm really passionate about. You know, growing up, I used to do all these video productions for school, for family events, uh, sometimes even for my dad for work. So videography is uh, one of my passions and I wanted to share that with you guys as well. So combining all of these together, I think the YouTube channel just made sense. And I guess that's why I'm starting this. For those of you who don't know me, I am Enro Mendoza. I am currently 25 years old, born and raised in the Philippines. And, you know, I'm not one of those motivational speakers. I'm not the best selling author. I'm not a speaker who, you know, speaks in front of thousands of people in a crowd. I'm just a regular guy, just your average Joe, who has his own goals and who is trying to make the most out of today make the best decisions, try to learn, work on myself to achieve the goals that I set for myself and live a good life, live a happy life, however you define that um, happy life. And with that, I think the content that I will be sharing with you in this YouTube channel are mainly three things. I think the first thing is wisdom. Yeah, I'm not claiming to be a motivational speaker, but I want to share with you things that I learn, things that I read from people that actually I idolize and admire a lot. Especially this guy right here, um, one of my biggest idols, Kobe Bryant. And I think that's going to be my next video. You know, eight things that I learned from Kobe Bryant. As you all know, by this time, it would be a month since he passed, since that fateful day, very sad day, very tragic day for everyone. That was also one of the reasons why I wanted to start this YouTube journey with a video as a tribute to him because he's been a big part of my life, believe it or not. And we won't just be talking about Kobe, we're going to be talking about other people, other inspiring individuals like Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, people like that who really changed the game, propelled people forward and made life better. The second thing we'll be talking about in this YouTube channel is, of course, wellness. At this day and age, wellness is very important. Now that COVID-19 is on the rise, it's very important that we all keep healthy. Not just, of course, health in terms of physical, but especially also mental. We're going to be talking about the whole well-being of a person in this YouTube channel. And the third thing we'll be talking about in this YouTube channel is wealth. You know, being a millennial wealth is something um, very close to my heart. Everything now is so expensive compared to, let's say, the generations before us. Owning real estate, uh, everything in life, I guess, uh, we really need to work hard on. And uh, I realized that being a millennial experiences everything. You know, we want to buy all this food, we want to try all these new things, all these experiences, travel the world, go to Chicago, go to La Union, go to Hong Kong, go to 
you know, all these places and, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot of money. So, I always believe that we should live to the world means. But, yeah, those are just the concepts that we will be talking about in this channel. For now, just those three, but we'll see other topics relevant to a day in the life of a millennial Filipino Asian citizen of the world. And, yeah, if you find these concepts cool, if you want to follow through on my journey to achieving our goals together, subscribe down below. Um, click that bell icon. Apparently, it's good for YouTubers. I actually don't know, so you guys should tell me. Comment on other topics that you want to delve into. This is not a very structured setup. You know, this is just my first video. If you guys have some tips for me as well, suggestions, just please comment down below and I'll be happy to read them, respond to you guys and hopefully this project, little side project of mine, turns out great. So for our next video, we'll be talking about that guy, you know, eight things that I learned from him. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Follow me on social media. So I have my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. I'm mostly active on my Instagram. So I have my personal Instagram at Enro Mendoza. And I also have my sort of mantra in life, um, hashtag success in progress. So I have a success in progress Instagram page. You guys should check on that as well. There I post you know, curated inspirational quotes. Hopefully I get to post them daily. I kind of park that account on the side. But to be honest, it's high time that I do this, you know, merging my passion for videography, for um, sharing inspirational stories nuggets of wisdom. So again, uh, my name is Enro Mendoza. That's it for today, guys. See you next time.